Alright, so today's video is on the Suomi K31, KP31 or M31 magazine. For the people in the United States who have one of these mags, they know how they work. It's pretty simple if you have one in your hands. Unfortunately, us in Canada, when we get them, they have one of these in them. Anyways, I'll show you what that is. So to open it, you open it the same way, you take that, you push on it. And when you push on it, it allows you to do that, and then you can remove the cover on it. Alright, now as I said, what differentiates our mags from the ones in the states, or at least in the free states, is that pin that you saw on the other side comes right through and is welded in spot. Then you've also got try to get a bit more light here. You've also got a weld here. This basically turns the magazine into a five round magazine. So you turn this and it stops here, allowing you to put five rounds in. Now when I first got it, <coughs> I thought they had modified the magazine prior to this too. Because they said even if you take out the pin here, all you could fit is the rounds here. And I figured, okay, maybe someone cut something. Anyways, what the actual thing that happens here is, is that obviously you don't have a pin here in the original ones and there's no weld here this means that when you take this and you turn it after you turn it a bit more it would have clicked into place so you didn't have to hold it back all the time you almost hear it click here anyways so you click it and once you've clicked the thing four times this has made its way right around the whole rim and hits here at that point you continue going and the whole track that you see here actually turns and does a whole 360 degree right back to the other side here of the pin so that now puts that on that side of the pin there which lines up this track with the opening up here as you can see. So now you have the whole thing full and as you start shooting what happens is this thing will start moving but because the whole track is full the whole track actually will move with it. So all the bullets that are here will start feeding as the track turns the track turns and the little ramp that's here scoops up the bullets and they start feeding out of the gun well into the gun once that goes right to the end here so you have it turning around it's going to go right to the end and then it's going to bottom out on that pin that it's welded to in this one here that would have been eight clicks, well four clicks of this would have returned. So now this is stuck in place, the whole track on the inside stuck in place, and this arm would be right here. So this arm would now feed all the rounds that are in here and push it out the top obviously as your gun was shooting. In Canada we can't have that because the government decided that we're too dangerous if we do. So they pinned this magazine here and welded it there so that we can't actually have a full capacity magazine.
So that's basically how this magazine works for people who, as I said, have never had a chance to see one. Or live in a country that have things pinned like this. So, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it explained it. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I tried my best here to explain it. And hopefully you can see how it works from this video. Thanks for watching.